Hi guys, and welcome back to the Floating Bubble, where it's always story time here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget about our podcast, available everywhere. Santa's Secret by Denise Brennan Nelson, illustrated by Deborah Melman. My parents had planned an adventure one day. We loaded the car and went on our way. We sang Christmas carols to Grandma's delight till we got to the city, all festive and bright. The sidewalks were packed, but we made our way through, and I climbed on Dad's shoulders to get the best view. A holiday parade was soon underway, with marching bands playing and floats on display. Santa came into sight and the cheering grew loud. From a shiny red sleigh, he waved to the crowd. When the parade ended, we walked for a while, and who did we see with the bell and a smile? He wore the same suit, but I knew right away he wasn't the Santa I had seen in the sleigh. It's not the same Santa, I loudly declared. The people nearby turned toward me and stared. Mama said, Santa needs helpers to get the job done. But I demanded to know, who is the real one? Grandma leaned down with the answer for me. It's Santa's secret just as it should be. But everyone knows that secrets want out. I uncovered the truth. I hadn't a doubt. We found Santa's station and waited in line until finally, thank goodness, the next turn was mine. His beard was white as fresh falling snow and his belly jiggled with each ho ho ho. I had questions for Santa. I would see what he knew about the reindeer and elves and the rest of the crew. I got out my notebook. I would crack the case wide. From a good detective, the truth cannot hide. What is your name? I started off simple. On each side of his grin, I noticed a dimple. Who are your reindeer? What do they eat? And does Rudolph have a favorite treat? Do your reindeer sleep? Where do you live? Who helps you decide what presents to give? Do you like to fly? Do you take vacations? Tell me a few of your favorite locations. How big is your workshop and how many elves? Do they live with you or all by themselves? Well, some of the elves live with me. I know there are a few who live in the village and commute to work. I had to be thorough to get the truth. I recorded his answers like any great sleuth. I paused for a moment and looked into his eyes. The question would catch him by surprise. Are you the one? Are you for real? Do you like being Santa? How does it feel? Santa Claus chuckled, and his reply was a tug of his beard and a wink of his eye. Then he patted my head and had a question for me. What is it you would like beneath your tree? I thought my investigation should persist, but I thanked him instead and gave him my list. We then settled into a warm coffee shop. Hot cocoa for me with marshmallows on top. Looking over my notes, did I have enough? Could I solve this case or was it too tough? But then catching my eye, tucked back in a nook, sitting all by himself, reading a book, was a man with a beard, his coat on the chair, weathered black boots, I couldn't help but stare. He munched on a cookie and sipped on a drink. There was 
was something about him I didn't dare blink. With the notepad in hand, excuse me, I said. I saw that his cheeks were bright cherry red. His mouth stretched up and crinkled his eyes. And then without asking, to my surprise, he said, Reindeer like barley and berries to eat. But carrots, he added, are their favorite treat. I turned toward Mama for a second. I swear. And when I turned back, he wasn't there. I had seen a few Santas throughout the day. Had I met the real one? The sleuth cannot say. Grandma was right. It's as it should be. So I'll keep Santa's secret. It's safe with me. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye.